some of the things that we're finding in the blue holes. We're finding them all over Abaco and it's telling us about the ecology and those environmental systems from long, long ago. I'm looking at all of these different things that are happening and like being a detective. And if I find a single little bone back in a cave, I'm trying to find out what that bone is and what the species was and why was it there and all of these questions. So it's like being a detective, sort of a natural history CSI. And all of these, these are called your postcranial bones. They came out of the body of this tortoise. Whoa! And this is the real tortoise that was found in Sawmill Sink. And it's very, very complete. You can even see the vertebrae inside of it. See it? This is the carapace and this is the plastron, their belly. And on a female, the belly is flat. And on a male, it's very convex. It's That's very, a very deep. A this is a female. But these are called sulcus, and these are the plates that go over top. They're called a sulci. So we have these lines, and when they're kind of raised on the edge, we know that it was a youngster. When they get big, it spreads out. And also, the sutures are like between each bone. So this is a separate bone from that. These are called costal bones. And when that suture gets really tight, it's an adult. But on the youngsters, it's not so tight. In fact, there may be a few gaps. <laughs> See, yeah. along there and there. Okay, so we know that it was sort of a teenager. <laughs> <laughs>